hey guys welcome back to the channel it's a beautiful day and lent is actually upon us and during this time in my family we tend to give up something such as red meat and i've got two recipes including shrimp that will help us during this tough time because it will be tough hi i'm ramon and i'm the chef in the back pocket Well, yeah, our first shrimp dish will be coconut fried shrimp. So this is a pretty simple recipe. I'm going to start with 4 ounces of clean shrimp and I'll leave a link in the description below for how to clean, peel and devein shrimp. To the shrimp, we add 1 teaspoon of green onion, followed by a seasoning mix of 1 teaspoon each, onion, garlic, cayenne and salt. We thoroughly mix and then we move on to our dredging station. In our dredging station, we have about a cup of flour one egg beaten and one cup of coconut flakes. We start the dredging process by thoroughly coating our shrimp in flour while knocking the excess off, then dipping it into the egg wash and then dipping it into the coconut flakes afterwards. Now you'll notice that I'm alternating my wet and dry hands and this is in order to prevent what Alton Brown calls the club hand. So to repeat the dredging process, dip in flour, coat, shake off the excess, dip in egg wash, Coat, remove the excess and then dip in coconut flakes. Now after you've completed the dredging process you'll be left with a shrimp looking like this. If you wanted a thicker batter you'd have to do a double dredging which is basically completing the process all over again after you've done your first dredge. Now we've preheated our oil to 350 degrees which is ideal for frying our shrimp. While using a tongue for safety, we gently place the shrimp into our hot oil and allow to fry for 4-5 to five minutes or until golden brown. Now a fun fact, the bubbles that you actually see around your food when it's frying is like a moisture barrier. So the less moisture there is, is the more that the oil is penetrating your food which actually helps to give it that golden brown color which is exactly what we're looking for right now. After frying, we placed our shrimp onto a paper towel to help drain off the excess oil. Okay, okay, so I have a little joke. Why wouldn't the shrimp share his treasure? Because he was a little shellfish. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Alright, so back on to a serious note. Now, this shrimp can be served with a lime garlic mayo dip that I'll be linking in the description below. Now, our second shrimp dish will be pineapple grilled shrimp. Now we start preparing for this dish by cutting our onion into rings about 3 quarter to 1 inch thick. From each ring, we cut from the outside towards the center to help us separate each layer. After separating each layer, we then make 3 quarter to 1 inch cuts going around the ring. After completing this process, you will be left with nice and uniform slices that will assist in the cooking process. For the bell peppers, we cut off the top as well as the base and then we cut down the middle. We remove the middle and then we made lengthwise slices 3 quarter to 1 inch. We then turn the slices horizontally and made 3 quarter to 1 inch cuts. For the zucchini, it's a similar process. Remove the top and the base part, cut lengthwise, remove the middle and make 3 quarter to 1 inch slices. With our pineapple, we remove the skin, then remove the pith and cut into a similar fashion. A very crucial step is allowing your skewers to soak. This will prevent them from burning on the grill. An next pro tip from me would be the use of an oil marinade. It helps to prevent the sticking to the grill, so that we have a third of a cup of oil, 1 teaspoon of minced garlic, 1 tablespoon of chopped cilantro, 1 teaspoon of green onions, and lastly to this marinade, 1 tablespoon of red pepper flakes. We then mix it and combine it thoroughly. In a bowl, place about 1 pound of devein and clean shrimp and season it with our mixed spice blend. We then added our spice mix. 
followed by our oil marinade and we thoroughly incorporated. Now that we've done all our prep, it really comes down to the assembly. So we start with a zucchini, followed by shrimp, then onion, and then sweet peppers, and then we just rotate it till we're finished, closing off with our pineapples at the top. Now it was very important to get everything as uniform in size, so that everything finished cooking together at one time. After finishing assembling the skewers, you should end up with something similar to this. So we got our grill to a nice 350 degrees and then we lightly brushed it with a paper towel that was damped with oil. This was done to prevent further sticking of the kebabs. While using a tongue, we placed our kebabs on the grill and allowed them to grill on each side for about 2-3 to three minutes. I think I was too busy here stuffing my face to do an ultra. So if you like the contents of this video, please subscribe, like and share and provide some feedback in the comment section and tell me what is it that you're giving up for Lent. And I'll see you next time on Chef in the Back Pocket.